Okay, so I hope this doesn't get stuck and make this sound uh, get off cue. And anyway, so we'll just set that intention from the heart right now. Okay. So I just did some freestyle cards for just checking in on the energies uh, between my twin and I. Um, this five of cups kept coming out, so I left it out. <laughs> <clears throat> but the rest are good, okay? Except for one nine of swords, but that's, you know, in context, it makes sense. And I'll show you that. Okay, so, first ones that came out, Empress, Two of Cups. Okay, these came out together. So those were the first two, and they came out together, Two of Cups, Empress, yeah, Divine Feminine. All I need to do is keep putting God first, loving myself, and exuding that. And this is what my masculine will do. Because we always level up. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, and these both came out together. The next card's right after the Empress and the Two of Cups. Hello. Okay, so this is the masculine. Kind of doing his thing, loving himself, balancing out you know, the thoughts that he's creating in his mind, manifesting them into the 3D reality earth plane. So, very spiritual, okay, and then grounding that into the earth. Twofold process, so the masculine, oh, beautiful 20. 20 twin twin beautiful beautimous and then <clears throat> the next two cards that came out together again okay hangman in the world so what i was getting from that because of the cards before it was just like yep bubble love <laughs> bubble up bubble love okay so we'll just leave that there hangman in the world it's like completion final okay just hanging out bubble love Hubba Bubba, Three of Cups, Celebration, just enjoying the beauty, the bounty, being in the flow, uh, yeah, this is just loving self, the earth, others, this is just happy card, in context with all this, just happy, <clears throat> celebratory, okay, and then these two came out together, Eight of Wands with the Emperor, and hello, Golden Phoenix rising from the ashes, at ashes ashes um oh i just realized he has a scepter that has the saint's cross okay whenever it, there's different styles there could be a, a circle with the okay so it looks like venus right or there the cross could be inside of it the cross of tehran okay because the venus with love okay so anyway and the four that represents the earth oh we can go deep on that but anyway um Oh, and it's a four card. Hello, <laughs> the, the emperor. So it's kind of like the magician, um, but uh, more than just manifesting for the self, this is like serving others. It's like a little step above the, the magician, a little bit more evolved. Um, but I'm getting like divine masculine... <laughs> Uh, wanting to send a message to the feminine, communicate, and yeah, in a bigger, more mature, direct, honest way. Because <clears throat> it's the emperor with that eight of wands, okay? So, um, it's just like, I just got like, well, he just wants to make sure he's got all those bullet points before he... <laughs> Dot all those eyes. See how it looks like an eye getting dotted. Yeah. All checkpoints, all bullet points accounted for. Okay, then the next, this chunk came out and I felt like this was for me. Hierophant, moon card, temperance, nine of swords, king of cups. So, entering the temple. Yes, it's time to enter the temple. There's a floor to lee. There's that, um... There's a shell that looks like that, and I have a little silver charm, I, and I have the actual shells, too, from when I, um, one of my trips to Mexico. 
when I was in my foster home. We had uh, two to Puerto Vallarta and one to Ixtapa Zihuatneo. And the Ixtapa Zihuatneo, and that was, we went to a couple really beautiful beaches. And, um, so it's, I forget the name of the shell. And I uh, met an earth mama here once and she was like, oh, your necklace and touch. She was like, oh, that's a something, something. And I tried to remember what it was and I forgot and I got it again. I just keep losing it for whatever reason. I don't, uh, it's not, the name of it isn't sticking. Probably because that's not the original word we called it or something. I don't know. So anyway. So, okay, like the two keys. All, okay, this is very... Okay, this is the temple. <laughs> this is the high priest right here. The high row font. The five. Fe, the font. Okay, anyway. Then the moon. Okay, Anubis, the guide of the underworld. Okay, so the dogs on the moon card. And those towers of Babel. Eber was the only one allowed to keep his language. Eber, Hebrew, Weber. Weaver. That's what Weber means. Temperance, Archangel Gabriel. And see this Ark? That's the Ark of the Covenant. The agreement between Gabriel and Jesus, Raphael and Gevurael, Rafa and Gevu, for short, Ra and Ge, Ra and Gev, yeah, Geb, Ra and Geb, okay? So, this is, as you can see, looks like the reproductive organs, okay? Whether man or woman, this is what it looks like inside, okay? So, and that's Archangel Gabriel. See that triangle on his heart? Yeah, because the covenant is protecting, pro protecting this perfect harmonized balance of the water and the fire. So we have steam, so we have life. That's the breath of life. So Gabriel comes in to help clear out the sacral, balance us out. This is where we keep a lot of pain. This is also our deity chakra, so when we awaken, all that stuff is, that's Gabriel in that sacral chakra doing all that work, and he's done, oh, he's helped me so much. He's done so much work on me. I'm so grateful to my angels, to the angels. They're not just mine, but hey, man, I'm a jealous daughter. What can I say? <laughs> So, there's Gabriel, who I love. But then there's, see, in the chrysalis deck, it's kind of, it's the same kind of a thing. See, the sad angels, like, because those wings get heavy. Man, I was crying when I was throwing these cards and I saw that. I'm like, yeah, because these wings get freaking heavy. You start feeling like dragging around bags full of lead on your back. But... Every now and then, take a glimpse in the mirror. Turn around and look at those big, beautiful wings. Sometimes they f they're a burden, but they're magnificent. Uh, the burden of the earth angel, right? That rainbow bridge. The <laughs> Being an angel down here on earth, whether you're... Are each positive or negative? It's still hard. It's rough. It's rough, isn't it? It's rough. King of Cups. So basically, it's like, you know, deep within the moon, the womb. Okay, so Archangel Gabriel is also kind of, so it's just like Hierophant, moon, temperance, Archangel Gabriel's all over this. So don't worry, honey mamas. I'm talking to myself too, um, <laughs> mainly, but we're all one. And then King of Cups. So it's like, don't worry, all this stuff, it, yeah, it was heavy, all the who, but... The reward is you get that one, the king of cups, not the knight coming in and not the page, not the, I mean the page too, that pure love, but this is all the mature love, okay, that knows what to do when, you know, when a woman's pregnant, you bring your little, the little red berries and you feed her right into her mouth, okay, <laughs> you don't even put it in the nest, I mean, you put it, you baby bird her, you baby bird her, <laughs> And what's so cool is this deck has two higher fans in it, okay? It showed up twice. No, you're not seeing double vision. That's really there. And what's interesting 
Okay, so the Ten of Swords came out, and I love this card, and because the Nine of Swords is there too, I was like, great, awesome. Ten of Swords came out by itself. Hierophant, the other Hierophant came out by itself. So I was really getting the masculine energy with that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, these two Hierophants, they keep synchronizing with, like, one is me, one's my twin. Okay, so the... Uh, mentally throwing down, see this Five of Cups energy is like that's all passed over, okay? Um, so the feminine is just like, hold on for one more day. Things will go your way. <laughs> Ace of Cups came out by itself and landed. Um, the Ten of Swords and Hierophant were right next to each other, so this landed touching both. So I really feel like you, twin, okay, masculine, just keep practicing this putting God first. That's how you're going to get anything. <laughs> okay. Anything that's good, that's how it's gotten. And that landed, like I said, on the Ten of Swords with the Hierophant. So just being that man of God that you know that you are. Okay. You have the power over your own thoughts, this Ten of Swords, to just nip any thought that it doesn't serve you, to, the help, to help you in some way, nip it. Just go to God. Give it up to God. Hire fan, Ace of Cups. Give it up to God so he can just kill it for you. Okay, we don't need to know how to do it. We don't need to waste time with it. If it's not something that's... Um, elevating us, helping us to grow, evolve. Just give it up to God. It's as simple as that. It's awesome. We don't need to know. We don't need to fix it. We don't, right? That's why God's yoke is so easy. Okay, so and then this line that came out was just beautiful. High priestess. These all came out singular by themselves. Strength. And this um, showed up on the bottom of one something top or yeah bottom card I looked at when something came out maybe when the high priestess came out okay and then justice that's oh, right I think justice was on the top and strength was on was on the bottom and then they both came out and that's interesting because when I saw one was on the top and one was on the bottom I'm like yeah because some they interchange the numbers sometimes in different decks it you know one can be the eight and one's the 11 and vice versa so justice is 11 which it just makes sense okay and then the High Priestess is like the pillars, okay? Also in the Moon card, the pillars. Tower of Babel. Babel. <laughs> okay, also this. I hear the two feminine. Well, this whole chunk was very much, I, I feel like, for the feminine. Because the Moon and Temperance and King of Cups. And so. And that Hierophant <clears throat> with the Nine of Swords. I've, so I felt like that was my little chunk. And yours was the Ten of Swords with the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups. So just learning to practice to keep just putting God first, putting God first. Um, so High Priestess, oh yeah, then Strength, and then Justice, then the Wheel of Fortune, okay, the Wheel, which is a 10, and so is the Ten of Cups. So that's good, beautiful progress towards... Just wholeness, love, being in the now, balanced, in the heart. Happy family, complete, whole. Okay, beautiful. Mother, father, and the little children's. 1.5 children's. <laughs> and Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. So is that horse? Yeah, that looks like horse, uh, like a pony or a horse. So, okay, here's horse medicine again. And this is much, very much the red and the blue, masculine, feminine coming together. And then see how it creates that golden. And then it, you're just so joyful, free, like a child. Open. Oh, open the fool. That's why it's a zero. Open. Now you can be your true, authentic self and not care what people think. <laughs> Just caring about people, not what they think or how they treat you or what. Because there's no treating. Like, you decide the boundaries of 
who you let in your life and to what degree. And so there's if there's any a, ever a problem with anyone, it's because you're not being your true authentic self. <clears throat> but it's like high priestess, strength, justice, wheel of fortune. Okay, ten of cups, the fool, beautiful. And then the last card that came out there, the fool. We ended with the nine of cups on the bottom. Hello. The ultimate reward is getting reward is getting to be your true authentic self. But this isn't like someone who doesn't know anything, okay? But this is shedding the world as far as knowing anything that you've been like you have to shed all that to start your spiritual journey. So shedding all the stuff of the world. Putting God for first, trusting in that, having faith in God. Oh, okay, so seven of wands, that's right, was on the top. So this is throat shocker. This is expressing yourself, your opinion, okay, with that fool card. Being your true authentic self. The words that you speak, make sure that they're authentic to you and they're coming from the heart. But I also got... My wishes, hopes, prayers, dreams being answered. I'm getting some communication from my twin flame. <laughs> this kind of communication, eight of wands, and for like direct, mature, real communication. Intended communication. So... No pressure. I'm just saying that's what's in the card. So, <laughs> all right, we're done now. Um, that's that. Love, peace, and blessings.